Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, Colorado played great today. It was a good challenge for us being out here uh, outside, first outside game, and, and um, just really happy with how the girls responded and excited for this challenge. And then uh, just talk about Maddie T a little bit, career high and goals for her. Uh, just what have you seen from her so far in her sophomore year? I just think the biggest thing with her, she's a, an unreal finisher. Um, and I think that's what makes her so special. Obviously, she has the ability to pass, dodge, she does it all. But her finishing ability is, is really, truly elite. And, um, you know, that, that makes her a great player. And then, uh, you know, how would you kind of grade your team's, you know, ability to kind of deal with the elements today? It was kind of coming down in the second quarter. Just kind of give me a run through on that. I'd say, um, you know, I, at the start, I didn't think we did a great job of it. But I think as the game wore, wore on, we did better and better. And um, like I said, it was a great challenge for us. Yeah, I think it was good. I think Colorado's a really, really tough team, and we knew they were going to come swinging and they did and I think our girls did a good job of keeping composed on the defensive end and on the offense just kind of moving the ball and trying to get the right looks I think we can obviously clean up some things probably could have got a couple more in but draw team did incredible and yeah I was proud of how the team showed up with yeah traveling and the weather and everything it's it's great to see the girls kind of do a great job through that and then 300 goals, just kind of, can you put that in, <laughs> into perspective at all, thinking back to, you know, yeah, your middle school having 300 yeah, goals? Yeah, it's cool. It's, um, what up? <laughs> Good job, Sammy. Uh, yeah, it's great. I think um, when you're a, a young kid playing lacrosse, you never really expect to get, get to college and kind of have a number like that under your belt. So I'm, I'm glad I chose Northwestern. I'm glad I have the girls around me that set me up to be successful. And it's been a great ride so far, and hopefully we can just continue forward with the team doing great things and the offense continuing to put the ball in the back of the net as much as we have been able to. And But, yeah, it's, it's very cool, very exciting. Daddy T, career high today, six goals. Oh, I didn't know what, that. What were you seeing out there? <laughs> um, I think the offense did a good job of moving the ball around. Uh, we finally started getting those shooting space calls. Um, and uh, kind of capitalized on that opportunity. And yeah, we're just moving the ball around really well. Good team offense. Then just kind of take me through it when, uh, you know, you're converting on a lot of free positions. Like, uh -huh. do you just feel like locked in at that point, like no one can stop you? Um, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I did feel like I did the same thing a couple times, but I kept working, so I stuck with it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then going forward with the offense, just what do you guys – you know, still zeroing in on is, you know, things that you want to keep improving on? Um, we definitely can move the ball a little bit more, even though we did do a really good job today. Um, just communicating a little bit more with each other and still try not to look for that first option on offense and keep getting it around, using the shot clock a little bit more. And then uh, what was it like, you know, tough elements, but, you know, having the mountains in the background, what was yeah. kind of the whole scene like? Um, obviously a lot different environment for us, but it was cool to get this opportunity and experience playing outside in Colorado, never had before, so that was pretty cool. Um, and I think um, this gave us a little bit more toughness, and, yeah, it was good. <laughs>